My friends, welcome to the parish of St. Anne. My name is Don Byers, and I serve as the priest and pastor of the parish. And I'd like to take this moment to welcome you to join us for Christmas. Christmas is such a special time in the year for so many of us. It's a time in the year when we come together with friends and family to share time with one another, to reflect with one another, and to share in the joy of Christmas. Now, as I enter into a second year of the parish, I have to say Christmas is probably one of the greatest times of the year here at St. Anne's. This incredible church is filled with extraordinary music, but also with the beautiful sounds of infants crying or cheering or even running through the aisles. My friends, you are welcome here. Christmas is a time for us not only to gather with friends and family, it is also a time for us to just take a moment, pause, and to reflect on that great mystery, that awesome, wondrous mystery in which God has taken on flesh and become one of us. What an extraordinary idea that God has become like one of us, but not totally like one of us, but in a more particular way, God has become vulnerable like us. See, when we gather this Christmas, it's a time for us to, to reflect and to remember that God loved us so much that not only did God take on our flesh, God embraced everything of our human experience, our joys, our sorrows, our tears, and our laughter. And this is the beauty of Christmas, that God so loves you and I that God will become like one of us. Now, of course, I know we remember the story from well over 2,000 years ago, but that story breaks afresh day after day. And God becomes present to us each day when we come together with our friends and our family, when we walk together through our joys and sorrows, God becomes present. And we experience God in such an extraordinary way in this church as we gather with friends and family, with young and old, everybody from every background, from many places, from around the city and even from around the world. We come together to share in that joy and to remember that, yes, God is like one of us. And we do so as well, so that we may become like God to others. The past few weeks, I've had the pleasure of singing with our choir as they prepare the music for Christmas. And one of the works that the choir is working on is this wonderful piece called The Work of Christmas. He uses lyrics by Howard Thurman and is composed by the American composer Dan Forrest. It's an incredibly lush, beautiful anthem. But what makes it particularly special are the words and the way the music draws in these words. And I invite you to listen as I read these words aloud and to ponder them as you enter into Christmas. When the song of the angels is still, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins. To find the lost, to heal the broken, feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among brothers, to make music, to make music from the heart. See, my friends, we gather at Christmas not only to remember that amazing miracle of God among us, we come together at Christmas to 
once again commit ourselves to working for justice and peace for all God's people. We celebrate Christmas not as a thing that had happened in the past, but as something present here today, living and active among us. You and I are to proclaim the Christmas story day after day, just as the shepherds and the angels did so long ago. So my friends, I invite you, join us for Christmas. Come, let your hearts be inspired by the extraordinary sounds of music, by the beauty within this church, but also be inspired by one another. Look out among the congregation and see the many faces of God among us. God, once again, taking on flesh. And as you do, I hope that you will be inspired to join us in beginning the work of Christmas, to care for the poor, for the oppressed, to feed the hungry, to clothe those who have nothing, and to give shelter, yes, even shelter, to those who have no home. Come celebrate Christmas. Come let your hearts be renewed and filled with joy so that the Christmas message may ring out to all in the world through you. My friends, I look forward to welcoming you to Christmas. We all do, all of us in this church and all the staff and the wardens, all of us, we welcome you to St. Anne's for Christmas. And you can join us either for the early service at 5.30 p.m., a service for our families and children, where you can join us for that classic Christmas when the night gets dark and the stars appear in the sky, or who knows, maybe snowflakes will be falling down, to join us at 10.30 on Christmas Eve and to hear those beautiful words again, silent night, ringing through the church. Or, if you like, to wake up on Christmas morn and to join us at 10.30 as we celebrate a simple Eucharist using the wonderful and beautiful words of the Book of Common Prayer. Wherever you are, whoever you are, you are welcome here. And I will say you are loved. And we look forward to celebrating with you the great story of Christmas and to beginning the work of Christmas today. God bless.